In this video, I am showing how I made a cable cover from sheet metal. There are two exposed cables in this caravan storage area that need to be shielded from being struck by other items in the area such as the jack. Taking a few quick measurements, I need a cover about 140mm or 5.5 inches tall, 76mm or 3 inches long and 40mm or 1.5 inches wide. Having drawn a quick sketch of what the cover will look like, I then draw the development of the folded shape. In effect, this is laying the shape out on a flat plane. In the layout, I am using solid lines to indicate where the metal is cut and broken lines where the metal will be bent. Once this is done, I transfer the development to an off-cut of sheet metal. First thing I do with the off-cut is to look for a square corner if there is one. Having found a square corner, I use it as the starting point to lay out the development of the cover. The sheet metal I have chosen is galvanised to match the location where the cover will go. As the measurements are only approximate, I am using a black fine tip pen to mark the layout. If more accurate lines were needed, I would use a scriber. For the layout on the sheet metal, I am using solid lines for both cuts and bends, but indicating on the workpiece where the bends or cuts will go. With the layout done, it is off to the guillotine to cut out the basic shape. I try to cut as much as I can on the guillotine as this is far quicker than using hand shears. Finally I, fin I return to the bench to finish trimming with the hand shears. Eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that I positioned the top section of my development on the wrong side in the layout. That happened because I forgot to check the layout against my drawing. Fortunately, this is easily corrected by re-trimming the top section.
With the development of the cover now correct, I'm using the press brake to bend it into shape. My apologies for camera position here, I forgot to take into account the motion of the levers against the camera. My press brake has removable sections to enable it to do perpendicular bends, but for a quick job like this I just return to the bench and bend the top cover over manually. Here I am using a planishing hammer to true up the workpiece. Off camera I have fitted two blind rivets to attach the top to the base and the cover is now ready for installation. So it's back out to the caravan to check the fit. I'm satisfied with the cover's position and fit and I now screw it down. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did please click like. I would also welcome your subscription to the channel and don't forget to ding the bell. Thank you.